Warren, you're very welcome to the programme. How are you this morning? Good, thank you. Good. This is an absolute scandal. It is something that should have we should have known about as a nation. I know Callum was talking about investigative journalism and good journalism happening. But, I mean, w the fact that we can't send kids to school on Monday morning is ridiculous. Tell us just the, the kind of... Be, be the Jennifer Aniston and the L'Oreal ad for us. What's the science behind this? Well, what happened is... This became aware in 2018 when a school um, roof collapsed in a school in Kent. Um, thankfully, the school collapsed at the weekend, so there was no injuries or deaths. Um, straight after that, in 2019, there were a couple of reports written by CROSS, which is the Collaborative Reporting of Safe, Safer Structures, and the Institute of Structural Engineers produced a guidance note as well. Um, so we've known about it since 2019 and previously there were i think it goes back to about 96 where there were some papers written where they had some concerns about rat concrete and the longevity of it and what could actually happen to it effectively it's a we have hidden dangers with rat concrete um we can have corrosion of the reinforcement within the concrete which can then mean it can just fail without no outward signs because of the way that it's constructed totally different from normal concrete um i believe if at that time if the government had used the standard that the institute of Stru structural engineers had produced or a guidance note we'd have been a lot further down the line but i think they took a long time to produce their own document which is unclear putting it politely to give that to the schools to actually then have to try and procure like the services of, of myself and my company um procurement policies and procedures within um, schools and within county councils and London yeah. boroughs is a very slow process, Warren, which hasn't helped. Yeah, Warren, I worked in the Ministry of Housing. I was a special advisor to the former Secretary of State, uh, James Brokenshire, for about a year and a half. And I can honestly tell you that I learned a lot, not nearly as much, not even 1%, Warren, of what you know about building safety. And it just scared me. There are so many things about building safety in this country. There are so many buildings that were uh, put up uh, in a way that, 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 that isn't safe quite frankly, that isn't sustainable. Uh, there are so many issues to do with fire doors. There are so many issues to do with, well, we're, as we're finding now about building and structural integrity. This is just going to go on and on, isn't it? Well, the the problem that I've obviously had a lot of uh, interviews recently because of the, the news this week, um, and as I think as you've alluded, it's not actually just confined to schools and hospitals. I've actually, after a, uh, I think it was back in... February, March time when there was a lot of uh, hoo-ha about rat concrete. After a, um, an appearance on the TV, I got a phone call from a structural engineer in Wales, went to go and visit a job, and it was actually found in a residential property. Mm. So mm -hmm. it can be used anywhere. And I think the, the issue that I would look at and what's happened here, and it hasn't exactly been very well run, is we do a lot of work on highway structures, the bridges and such like. There is a very robust maintenance and inspection program that's put in place by the local councils and by national highways. For schools, hospitals, and other assets, high rise flats, offices, you name it, there is virtually a complete lack of any robust inspection and maintenance program. We don't care. It's amazing that you, you MOT your car. Yeah you don't check the building you're working in. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a, that's a really, really good uh, and, and terrifying thought there, Warren. Thank you.